Hello there, staff, students and parents at Chauncey School. Uh, just a quick update on how we've got on since my last video at Christmas. I must say that my last video caused a stir because I said something about vaccinations. And we had lots of online contributions from people I've never heard of. They also said I must be wearing a wig, I'm not. I'll start with COVID. We are still struggling our way through. Three or four teachers every week have got COVID. I had it before Christmas. Uh, it was very light, my COVID, because I was triple vaxxed. That's my view, but then I'm not a scientist. We have continued to support the National Health Service, uh, putting in place government policy on vaccinations for 12 to 18 year olds. And we will be doing some catch up, or rather the NHS nurses will be doing some further catch up on that uh, in early March. You may have noticed that we had some stewards here in big yellow high-vis jackets last week. That was in case the anti-vaxxers came to serve me with more papers accusing me of potential genocide. 98% of our staff are fully vaccinated. I'm sorry that there are two uh, who um, aren't vaccinated and I have tried, but they did both leave school at 16, so they know more about science than the scientists. Um, lots of the kids getting vaccinated, particularly those that want to go on holiday, even though this morning Spain have uh, rescinded their demand for vaccinations. But the kids have been great. There have been no hospitalizations. There have been no injuries. There has been no negative effects at all. A couple of kids felt a bit sick. One fainted before the injection. And of course, as you know, some people have a needle, a fear of needles. Uh, and we coped with that really, really well. The nurses were brilliant, the kids were brilliant. Because of COVID, with about 30 or more kids off every week, uh, that means our attendance is down to about 90%, which is 5% lower than we were on. But we will recover from this, and we will recover better than many places in uh, society because the kids are cooperating with their teachers. Their teachers are all working really, really hard, and the kids are all pretty much all really pleased to be here. That includes the Year 11s who are doing their mock exams at the moment. And I've been starting every exam and they have been fantastic. And I hope their results of the mocks and in the summer will reward their efforts, particularly in these COVID years when they've had to work harder and put up with more uh, nonsense than others. You may have heard that the uh, exam curricula is all on, online showing what they will have to do for the summer. Your best bet is to uh, email Mrs Carey or look on our uh, website for details of that rather than assuming that things are missing or listening to your own children who might say the wrong thing is listening. We're working with them, they're doing brilliantly. Now we've also been doing some fantastic, and I mean that, uh, extracurricular. The drama and music people put on a marvellous show of Matilda last week. Um, I have to admit that sometimes I'm sort of waiting for them to end, particularly if I'm stood up at the back. But this show was brilliant. Kids from all year groups, marvellous performance. And we were packed out with parents and grandparents and younger siblings, all glad to be out. And we are glad to be out. We're doing trips. We're doing inter-school sports. And I have to say that we are doing magnificently there. The, um, yeah, the senior basketball team beat a local boys' school 69 to 20 yesterday, and I think they're unbeaten, these seniors. They may have lost one. We've got district champions in the senior girls' netball. We're probably going to have two or three district champions in uh, basketball. We've got to semis in the uh, county uh, netball and badminton, and there's all sorts of sports going on, including a really good year eight and seven rugby squad who uh, I think are unbeaten at the moment. So the teachers are enjoying doing all the extracurricular work, all the clubs are on. I missed this morning the inter-house uh, debating uh, and there's been, uh, the philosophy club has been putting on some great stuff. We are due a year seven inter-house bake-off. It's a charity event and it is my idea of a nightmare because when I judge it, I am asked to sample 160 cakes. That was two years ago. Now we're back. We've got 273 students. So that's an awful lot of cake to sample. And whatever you may think, uh, I don't want to eat all that much cake. One cake is enough. 
Uh, so we're looking forward to that. We've got other charity events coming up. Some are uh, business studies, organised events, and some are our usual commitment to things like Blue Cross, Comic Relief, uh, Macmillan's Nurses, and the Israel Hospice. So that's, that's all uh, very good. We've had a couple of online parents evenings recently, and we've been able to double the number of evenings our staff work by reducing travelling time and uh, that sort of stuff. Um, we've only had a 90% turnout. I say only. If you are one of the 10% of parents that have been unable to make the parents' evenings for internet reasons, I have to tell you, you could come here and access them online here. A number of our staff live in one bedroom flats or don't have proper internet access at home, so they work from here, so we, we can do that. The overwhelmingly positive, as have been the reviews, because the kids, like I say, they're working hard with really talented teachers who are committed to educating children of all abilities in this uh, inclusive school. We're a great place to work, and that's why we've got a waiting list of 44 in years 7, 8 and 9, most of whom won't get in. Um, and we've also already know that we've got a substantial waiting list for the new kids coming in September. Now, if you are a year six parent, you will be told, I think March the 2nd or 3rd, something like that, while we're on our conference, you will be told whether you've got a place or not. If you're a sibling, if your kids are sibling and they haven't got a place, that's an error. Let the admissions people know that will be put right. If, however, you are told that you are unsuccessful in a place and you really want one, you will be staying automatically, unless you turn it down, on the uh, waiting list for any school ranked higher by you than the school you've been allocated. So say you've got St Albans girls and you actually put down, uh, that was fourth choice, but you put Chauncey third, um, Bishop Stortford College second and Marlborough first. You will stay on the waiting list for the three above St Albans girls. And then there's the appeals process, which we have every year. And uh, I, I can't help you with that, but uh, if you are unsuccessful in getting the place, um, contact the admissions team and you may email the school at admin if you've got any questions. The reason I can't help you with your particular appeal is because I've got to be uh, neutral and unbiased and play by the, uh, the rules as they exist. Speed are pretty big now. We're heading towards 1,400 students in September. Our sixth form is attracting kids from all over and uh, we, we've got 273 in year seven. The history building is open as you know and I will get round to putting up plaques to thank all the people who helped us on uh, funding that building. I will also get round to writing the very very interesting damning report on how we lost so much money on the building. We, because of the numbers of kids coming here uh, and planning for the future, we need some more staff. So we look like we're going to be okay in English. We look like we're going to be okay in RE, but I'm not sure. We're certainly all right in, subject, in most of the other subjects. We do still have a vacancy for somebody to teach some politics. If you're interested, uh, email me, head at chauncey.org.uk. We've also got a vacancy in technology. Uh, that's the hard end of it, design technology, making things, but also the theory, teaching to GCSE and possibly A-level. We've got that and we've got a maths vacancy. This isn't because people are leaving, though we are a great place to come because people give us five years and then go off and run other departments and other schools. So teacher vacancies for September are there. And if you're interested in training with us, uh, write to me, head at chaunty.org.uk. The final thing is we need a part-time science technician, somebody that can follow instructions on how to put chemicals together in the right proportion so that we don't blow up the kids but can have successful chemistry lessons and so on. You don't have to be an expert, but you do need to be able to follow clear instructions. Some science background may help, um, and it is part-time. So again, email me, head at chaunty.org.uk. And next week, we'll be putting that job and the others out on the parent now. So there's an update. Lots of things happening. The sun is now shining behind me as I make this video. The kids are enjoying being outside. They're enjoying being at school. They're enjoying doing all the sports. And uh, they're enjoying studying. So I hope you're happy with what they're doing. 
Um, if you like, you can email me at the address I've already given. My thanks to all the staff who have covered so many lessons and for so many absences and are tackling the, what I would call our post-COVID uh, term with uh, real enthusiasm and excitement and pleasure. So, bye now.